Participation in women's and girls' football is on the up. However, there is a growing concern about serious injuries in the sport and particularly things like ACL injury to the knee. So why might this be a problem and what can be done about it? My name's Steph, I'm one of the physios at sportsinjuryphysio.com. We do online consultations for people and can make a tailored and individualised rehab programme to get you back on the pitch as soon as possible. If this is something that interests you, then please take a look at the description of this video because the link to the website is in there. Let's start with a quick recap. What is an ACL? ACL stands for anterior cruciate ligament. It's one of the ligaments in the knee that gives it stability. And if we imagine that this is your shin bone or tibia, and this is your thigh bone, which is your femur, and this is the knee joint that bends and straightens. There are two cruciate ligaments within the knee joint that cross over, hence the name cruciate, which means cross. Um, the anterior cruciate ligament stops the tibia, the shin bone, from sliding forwards on the femur. Without it, the knee is less stable and more prone to either serious injury um, or later on down the line, possibly an earlier onset of osteoarthritis. It's a problem in football and other sports because the rehabilitation of this injury can take a long time, typically usually about nine months to a year. Sometimes it can be quicker, but it's never really very sensible to rush back too early with this type of problem. Some research has shown that women and girls are double the risk of injuring their ACLs compared to men. So why could this be? An ACL is typically injured with a knee slightly bent and a rotational and inward force to the knee. It's really typical to do this in any sport that involves changing direction quickly, accelerating or decelerating at speed, and fast turning or landing and pushing off. It can be a non-contact injury as well as a trauma injury. And typically it can be when the foot is planted and the player goes to twist. One of the reasons is the angle that women's legs tend to be from their hips down to the knee. It's known as a Q angle, and sometimes women will have wider hips than their knees and an angle like this of their femur, more than men. <clears throat> if we think back to how the ACL is injured in that plane and that rotation, this is why the knee is already a little bit more at risk of going that way if the skeletal structure of a woman is slightly more inclined that way. Another factor to consider is hormones. Some research has shown that around the time of ovulation in the menstrual cycle, there can be a little bit more ligament and joint laxity, which can predispose you a little bit more to injuries like this. All the way back in 2006, the FIFA Medical and Research Centre developed a very simple 20 minute warm up that could be done twice a week before training. Um, and it was found by research to reduce overall injuries in soccer by a third and serious injuries by half. The warm-up consisted of some running drills to work on form, running drills that worked on changing direction, cutting and landing, and control on acceleration and deceleration, core control, balance, stability, coordination and neuromuscular control, and some strength and conditioning with it. They're all simple exercises that don't need a lot of equipment. And it has been shown by study after study to reduce injuries every single time. It has also been shown to reduce injuries in other sports, such as rugby and basketball. Another factor to consider is that women can have lesser core and general strength and conditioning than men, putting you more at risk of this type of injury. However, the good news is that this is something that you can actually do something about. Despite the wide success of this injury prevention programme, it is still not widely used in grassroots level football, particularly here in the UK. But if you want to do these exercises yourself, which are all easy to do at home, then have a look at the description and we'll put a link to a separate video demonstrating these exercises for you. I hope that you found this helpful and hope that you have an injury free season. But if you do run into any trouble, please do get in touch and we'll be more than happy to consult with you and help make a plan to get you back as quickly as possible.